Hey, what's good everyone? Welcome back to this tutorial. Uh, I took a long ass break, not gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? Started skating again and all that. Here's a clip. But yeah, anyway, let's get back into this tutorial. Um, let's just pick up from wherever we left off last time. So yeah, whenever you're not ready, let's get started. All right, okay, let's get started and let's let's start with the eye. So let's bring in this uh whatever it's called, a UV sphere. Let's rotate it next 90 degrees. Scale that down a little bit, just to kind of fit within the eye socket, and let's just bring it forward. You know, typical eye stuff. You know, so now let's <coughs> whoa. So let's let this this little ring here. And we're gonna invert that so s turn off proportion editing s y minus one to scale it to invert it basically get something like this we can push it back a little bit don't go in too deep that's what she said but yeah just just you know go with whatever you like that looks pretty good over there again i'm gonna select this area here you can press c to bring up circle select by the way and let's just insert that in and then extrude it in just to make the pupil iris i don't even know i'm not a biologist get something like this we can bevel this edge by pressing ctrl b you don't have to do all this by the way this is really extra but i just like doing it so you can do it as well let's bevel this outer side as well there we go let's add a loop cut in here press ctrl b like so let the middle one turn on proportional editing and let's just push along the y Add a bit more geometry a bit more you know a bit more organicness if that makes sense i don't know but yeah scale that up a little bit you get something like this little eye pretty simple nice and easy let's push it back in that looks about right you know what, let me bring it in a little bit more and we can place it you can play with at this point double press r to rotate it freely and then just place it however you want and then we can just edit the actual face to kind of fit the eye if that makes sense so that's what i'm doing right now so kind of just pull the vertices until you get something that you're happy with basically Now let's extrude this edge in, the one we just selected around the eye. Now if we go into X-ray mode, we're pressing Ctrl Z or Alt Z. We can scale that in, see what it's looking like. There you go, it kind of just gives you a bit more joy to play with. And then we can just pull these up, just to kind of make a bit more space for the eye. Like so, and then we can add a bunch of loop cuts in the middle. One or two will be enough, then we can just scale that up. Basically just go, just clean, clean the mesh up a little bit, make it a little bit more nice. If you know what I mean. There we go. Happy with that. Looks pretty nice. That's it. Well, for the eye at least. So let's rename it by pressing F2 and just rename it I. So obviously it's an I. Shade is smooth. And then let's add a mirror modifier. And then select this head as the mirror object. And there we go. Well, I mean, at this point, it looks more like an elderly person than a titan. But anyways, yeah, let's just let's just try to fix that a little bit. So I'm just kind of lining up the geometry a little bit here. Alright, so now at this point we can kind of get started with the teeth basically it's a bit, a bit exciting so let's go to um first of all download it from the link in the description do that and let's go file import obj away from obj once you've imported it, it might be huge like this we can just scale that down just in, in, you know get into the general shape of it scale it down let's move it forwards just so we can see what's actually happening and what we're going to do is basically join it onto the head so we're going to separate it from the top 
obviously the top row of teeth and the gums and then the bottom row etc so i mean so far it looks it looks it looks pretty good i mean if you were really lazy you could just leave it like that but you know what I'm saying but we don't do those around here gotta put in the work so yeah this is what it looks like right now we just want it to kind of merge onto the head basically so let's select it let's go object 3d cursor just so that the origin point of the of the actual mouth i guess is in the middle there so from here what we can do let's isolate these two like so and then let's go into these into the, the teeth and then let's just separate it from the top and the bottom so select the bottom ones like so because we don't want it all to be one object basically by the way all i'm doing is hovering over a certain part and pressing l l just selects whatever's linked basically so we select it like this press p and then separate by selection and then let's bring everything back and then let's select the top row and the head and isolate those two again like so and now we can start working on joining the two together so let's just select like a row from this like from this skull that we're going to delete so let's just go with oh it's a headache let's select something like this right and then we can delete that so delete faces and then hover over the bottom part press l and delete the rest of it so you're left with something like this basically and then we can clean this up a little bit gonna bring it down get it all lined up let's select this bottom edge here press s z zero so s z zero to flatten it and let's just and you end up with something like this we're just making sure it's flat basically then we can bring it down a little bit can clean up the mesh as we go like so we just want to have a good base to start off with basically which will make our life much easier than having to fix everything later on so you're just tweaking little areas here and there like so let's go into the teeth bring that down a little bit all right so let's select the teeth and the skull and then let's go into edit mode while both of them are selected and then let's just bring this up a little bit then we can select this top edge here and press SZ0 just to flatten it on the top. Kind of like what we did to the skull. And then let's select the whole teeth and then let's scale it along the X a little bit. Just so it's in the right in the right area, the right scale. Bring that up a little bit. Let's move it along. We just want to line it up so that when we join the two, they join up pretty well. So before that, let's delete one half of it, one half of the teeth. Because obviously on the skull, one half of it is mirrored anyway, so... Let's do that real quick. Now, when we're done splitting in half, let's just add a mirror modifier and then select the skull again as the mirror object. Turn on clipping and you see how he's not meeting up in the middle here. We can just push these verses over like so. And if you get problems like this where the teeth, you can see he's like joining in the middle. To do that, all we've got to do is just add a face. As you can see right now in the middle where they meet, there's nothing. There's like no faces empty. So let's just select these points here and press F to add a face. Okay, so then you end up with something like this, hopefully. If you don't know that right. And then all we've got to do it's just join these two together. Let's select the two, press Ctrl J so that they join into one object. And you can see the modifiers from the skull are now affecting the teeth. So the subdivision, for example, in the mirror in a sec. Let's just tweak this up a little bit. There we go. And by the way, on the teeth that you've hopefully downloaded from the link in my description, you won't have to fix all of these little issues here. I would have done that already. So let's just skip ahead from this part. All right, so all we've got to do to join these two is make sure they have even amount of vertices from the top and the bottom. So we can select these two, press M and merge at center and select the next two and press Shift R to repeat. So now we can start joining the two. Let's just select a quad. So it's just four vertices and press F to make a face. And we're just going to carry on with this basically throughout the whole mesh pretty much. So again, let's okay, move things around like so. Just make sure it's four. Select four, press F, and there you go. Oops, by the way, make sure you select the right vertices or you get an issue like that. 
There we go. And by the way, if there isn't a vertex, or if there's like no way you can join it on, you can just make your own basically. You can either press R to add a loop cut, or you can draw in a loop cut yourself with the, what's it called, the knife project tool. But let's press K. And then let's just draw down a vertex that we want. There we go. We get a little loop cut there that we just made. And then let's join these two together. And then we can select the four and press F to make a face. There you go. That's pretty much the whole technique to join these two. Again, just to recap, you can add in a loop cut if there isn't enough vertices to make a square. And then select four vertices, press F to make a face. That's basically it. If you want to join two vertices together, select them, press M. That's to merge and then click at center. So you end up with something similar to this. And then we can just get rid of this back part because we don't really need the extra tooth, I guess. So select, let's select all of it, like so. Take your time within this part and make sure you're selecting everything that's part of the tooth, basically. Because we're going to get rid of all of that. And make sure you take your time selecting everything. You don't want to leave any part of it behind, basically. So I'll show you what I mean. I'll separate it now and then you can get rid of that or hide it or whatever. Let's just delete it. And as you can see, there's still a, a bit of it left there. So again, make sure you select everything, every single part, everything. So after you selected everything, let's press P and separate it by selection. And let's just hide it again, or you can delete it. And let's come in here, get rid of all of this. Don't need that. And we just want to close this back part up basically because right now as you can see it's open so we want to make sure that that's nice and closed basically so to do that i'm thinking we can just select these two press f make a face and let's pull some of these out a little bit so we can see working with like so and then we can pretty much just add i add a bunch of loop cuts in the middle here of the face that we just made so let's zoom out a little bit here so let's add a bunch of loop cuts here, like so, and then let's just make some quads. Let's make some faces. So select four, as usual, press F to make a face. So forth and so on, whatever the saying is. And try to keep as evenly spaced as you can, basically. The neater your topology is, the better it will come out, pretty much. And don't worry about it if you have to select three points instead of four. It really doesn't matter that much in this area. But yeah, let's just clean it up like so. Let's pull some of these down. Just carry on until you get something that you're happy with, pretty much. And then we can bring these in. Try to match it up as best as we can. Something like that. And then let's do the same technique for this top part here as well. Obviously, we're going to clean up a little bit first. But yeah, let's do the exact same technique. There we go, let's just zoom out a little bit, but should end up with something like this. You can see it's nice and closed up. Everything's in there, you've got the teeth, the gums and all that. It's really not hard to be honest, just a bit time consuming. But anyways, let's get in here now and do these molars at the back. So what I'm thinking of doing is probably just putting these down here. Kind of making like a zigzag pattern. Just to kind of get the gum line, if that makes sense. So just select every other vertex and pull that down a little bit. Till you get something similar to this. Like so. I think that's alright. Let's select all of these. And these bottom ones here as well. Press C to circle select. <laughs> and let's come in here. And let's just get rid of all of these that we just selected now, basically. So let's just delete them. Delete the faces. And let's turn off the subdivision modifier. Let's hide that for now. And then let's take one of these teeth, preferably the back ones. And then let's just select it, basically, like so. And then let's duplicate it. Let's 
kind of position in the right area like so seems like i forgot to select the bottom part but that's fine we can add that in later on or you can just reselect it it's up to you let's double press r to rotate it freely get it lined up with the bottom view maybe scale it up a little bit and let's just position it wherever we want it to go pretty much and what i'm going to do after this is just fill in the gap at the bottom let's turn the subdivision back on just so we can see what it looks like it's pretty nice there let's turn that back off for now so i'm pretty happy with this tooth it looks all right i mean it's a tooth isn't it and we can just duplicate this by just going shift d move it forward a bit kind of scale it make sure it's the right the right place i guess something like that that looks pretty cool and then yeah i'm just duplicate one more time there we go let's kind of position this tooth and let's kind of move the gums around and so they fit around the tooth basically using proportional editing by the way make your life much easier Now let's just select this loop here, like so. And let's just extrude that down. So press E and then bring it down, scale it in a little bit, like so. Yeah, something like that. Let's tweak this around here, let's pull some of this out. You don't want to go in, into the teeth. Now we can select the loop that we just made earlier, we extruded earlier, and let's extrude it one more time. Let's turn off portion editing and press S to scale it inwards. Like so. We just want to go in inside the teeth this time. Maybe bring that down a little bit, scale along the X again. Yep. Like so. Kind of make like an overlap, pretty much. Just maybe bring these bring this down and out a little bit we're just making a gum line for now basically and again we can pull some of this out just to create that that overlapping effect like so so select this and push them out along the x just like so let's do the same with all the rest we can bring these out along the Y. There you go. Pretty simple. Let's add a loop cut. Just to kind of make that a bit more pronounced, a bit more noticeable. See, so creates that line there. And again, just a bit a bit of tweaking here and there until you're happy with the with the outcome. Pull this up a little bit. Definitely pull this out. You don't want anything poking out. That looks pretty good there. Just make sure the teeth are inside the gums, you know. We don't want to kiss off gingivitis or whatever, you know what I mean? Go make sure we got that good oral health. And there you go, you got yourself some teeth. Simple, isn't it? Nothing too hard. Let's just let's just move this tooth here a little bit. I'm not really liking the vibes giving off, you know what I mean? You need to straighten it out a little bit. That's it, that's a bit better. There you go. And again, if you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure you drop a like on this. Just just show some love, you know what I mean? Drop a like, subscribe, do all that. Especially if you want to see more videos as well. And leave a comment down below. Alright, so now let's select all of these. Let's just join them together. You get something like this. Again, you don't have to worry about mirroring because you're only making one half. The skull's already mirrored, so it's just going to apply it to anything else you make it to. Alright, so now let's just fix this horrendous looking thing whatever let's let this jaw and this actually let's let the lower teeth first and then the jaw because we can't really move the jaw down so actually what we should do is just push the top part up so let's let this go let's just box select this whole area press b or just click and drag turn on proportional editing scroll up till you get like a big circle and then let's just push all of this back up basically something like that 
I think that's probably enough. Yeah, you know what? That would do. We can probably move these teeth up a little bit too as well. Just tweak it again as usual, like I always say, until you get something that you like. Again, it's up to you. This is your model. Alright, so for the teeth binding the gums to the jaw, we can just delete the gums and just keep the teeth and then let's just place the teeth directly onto the jaw. That's probably the easiest method. Having to join it would just take way too long. So yeah, let's just do it that way. It will still come out the same pretty much. As you get something like this, as you can see, like I said, it comes out the same. You don't have to worry about the, the gums for the bottom part. And let's do the same for the back teeth. As you can see, it comes out something like this. Super simple, super easy. All I did was took the teeth from the top, the back teeth from the top, and I just duplicate them, flip them upside down and put them there. So now let's select this front part here. And then again, we don't need to mirror it. Let's just join it onto the jaw and it's going to mirror it automatically like so. And there you go. That, that's how you make the bottom jaw. Pretty simple. Plus, I want you guys to experiment with it. So I don't want to show you how to do exactly everything so that you kind of think for yourself. If that makes sense. That's the best way to learn anyway. So we got something like this and let's just fix this little gap here. I don't like how that's looking. We can just bring all of this up a little bit. And look at that, you got yourself some teeth. Really simple, isn't it? It's not, nothing too complicated, I'm telling you. And make sure you save, you don't want to lose your model this far in. And um, let's just pull these, this part forward a little bit. Just to kind of get a bit more geometry, a bit more, a bit more realistic. So let's pull this out. Get like a gum line, even though these aren't really gums. All right, so now let's let's fix these eyebrows here. They're kind of annoying me. I'm just giving off a bit more like like caveman vibes. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not feeling it. So I'm gonna select this edge here, and let's just slide it up a little bit, something like that. And let's select these ones here, and we can pull this down. Double press G and slide them down like so. You can see already it's, it's looking a lot better, a bit more menacing, less caveman-y. Let's pull these down and in a little bit, something like that. Pull this, do the same with these. There we go. Okay, there we go. It's looking pretty good. Pretty nice, we're getting there. There you go, a bit menacing. So now let's start with the hair. Let's go into the hair, my favorite part. So let's go Shift A, go to Mesh, go down to Single Vert and click Add Single Vert. While you're in edit mode, let's just place that at the top of the head. Like so, and then we're just going to extrude it down. Press Ctrl, left click or right click. Or you can just press E and then move it wherever you want it to be. So now let's go into front view and kind of shape it this way as well. Give it a bit more realistic look. A bit more 3D look. Make sure you're using proportional editing as well. So something like that. That looks alright. Let's go to object. And then convert to, if I can find it. Convert to curve. You can see I would have a, a shortcut assigned there, but you can add your own or whatever. So let's click onto that and let's come down to where it says geometry and then go to bevel. And then let's just play with the depth. You can see it makes it thicker or thinner. Something like that. And then let's come back into edit mode. Let's select one of these vertices and press OS to scale it down. And we just want to scale down every single one. Obviously, having like a tapered action thing going on there you go pretty simple and let me show you guys let's let's bring it down along the left side as well bring it inwards let's try to make it look as good as you can basically there you go maybe pull these out to the side just go with whatever you're happy with pretty much it doesn't have to be perfect for now and let's go down here to the bevel. And then let me just show you a little technique where you can get a bit more 
a bit more detail in there so if you just add a bunch of points here all i'm doing is just clicking it and dragging you can see it's affecting the way there's the shape of it basically so you can experiment with this and just come up with your own shape that you're happy with i'm gonna just keep moving this till i like something pretty much Okay, so this is the shape I'm going with. You can pause the video here and copy it or do whatever. And let's just rename this hair. Again, press F2 to rename anything. And let's shade smooth, W shade smooth. So we're just gonna duplicate this around basically. Let me show you how to do that real quick. Actually, what is this head shape? Whoa, let's fix that real quick. All right, that's a bit better. So first things first, let's put the cursor on the middle of the head. And then press period and then select 3d cursor so now whenever you rotate or scale or do anything you will move it from the 3d cursor so the pivot point would be the, wherever the 3d cursor is in this case the middle of the head so now all you have to do is just duplicate it so here we are after you duplicate the hair a bunch of times and pull them out here and there you get something like this as you can see it looks really close to this reference image again go off the reference image you can add as much hair, as little hair as you want and by the way i just brought back in the neck from earlier it should have been hidden i didn't delete it but yeah this one looks like looks pretty cool let's rotate the jaw just to show you a little bit obviously there's nothing in the mouth yet there's no tongue or anything but as you can see it came out really good i'm really happy with it so far you can tell it's, it's the titan Aaron. if you watch the anime you know what I'm saying so let's just turn the mouth back in that's enough so yeah take your time making the hair again put as much or as little time as you want into it and that ladies and gentlemen is the end of this video hope you guys enjoyed it hope it was easy enough to follow again if you're confused just dm me on instagram i'll try to help you out um yeah hope you guys are excited for part three the last and final part it should be coming out in in a couple days hopefully and then yeah if you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below leave a like subscribe share the channel as well i'm trying to hit a thousand subs like i said before and um yeah hope you guys enjoyed uh i'll see you guys in a couple days probably